Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com. As you can probably tell, it's a beautiful day out there. The camera is struggling with the bright contrast. And today we are going to have ourselves a look at one of these. Oh yes, a Kelly Kettle in action. Now we're going to head up onto the roof and see what this is all about. And trust me, it's fantastic. So here is the Kelly Kettle itself. Now the idea of the Kelly Kettle is that it's a camping, survival, outdoors sort of kettle that can run off natural fuel. So instead of having a finite source of, I don't know, say a gas bottle, you can literally fuel this with natural things like twigs, pine cones, bits and pieces like that. So you should never really run out of fuel. It comes in two basic parts, the top kettle part and the fire base. The fire base is where we're going to be burning things to boil the water in here. And if we have a look at the kettle itself, you can see that it's a very odd uh, shape. This is the Scout model that can take about 1.1 litres of water. And all the water stays in this top part here, which basically then pops onto there. Where you've got a hole in the bottom there where you can let the draft through and light the fire. And then obviously the top part is just basically channeling all of the heat and all of the flames and basically as much of the energy of the fire straight into the kettle and exposing it to the water in as large a surface area as it possibly can so that helps it boil extremely fast and like I say you should never run out of fuel because you've got a whole outdoors of little bits of wood and stuff like that now luckily as you can see because I live on a boat I've always got loads of wood collected and stored up in the front there so what I did the other day was shave down a few of my little logs to very tiny pieces of wood which we will use to uh, chest this out and a have a look. Got myself just a little bit of uh, dry grass off the side to get the fire started. For the purposes of this video I'm going to cheat and pop a very small bit of a fire lighter in just to give it that edge because it's a little bit windy. We've got to obviously do this up on the roof here or preferably if we had somewhere off the boat completely because you don't want obviously the smoke and carbon monoxide and all sorts to blow into the boat. Um, so if we just pop that in there for a start, I think I'll stick just a few of these smaller bits on here. Right, we'll leave it at that for the moment. Pop the kettle on. Now, you, what you want to be doing is taking this stopper out before using it. It repeatedly says that throughout the instructions. So keep that to one side. I'm going to pop a little bit of water in and then hopefully we'll get this lit. Should be enough for one cup of soup I reckon. As you can see, my fire lighter cheat there has worked really well. <laughs> Only for the purposes of the video, I've literally got a proper flint lighter, which hopefully on a nice warm sunny day without the wind, I'll be able to show you that in action. So if we cut to a few clips of this in action and me clambering all over the boat, you'll see that it is as simple a case as just to keep the fuel topped up and the camera will go for a little trip down here now. And you can see there's a good fire going on on the inside and you can basically turn that hole at the bottom into the wind direction or away from it to obviously give it more of a powerful sort of a uh, jet engine like flame coming out of the top of the kettle there. But I mean it's as simple a case as you could possibly want it to be and it doesn't take too long to boil. I mean some people have been telling me on YouTube that they've been able to boil water using only a cardboard box so I will definitely be checking things like that out in the future and as you can see now it's it's ready for the big pour and I don't know why I'm holding it so so gingerly and so sort of awkwardly but I'm um, sorry if you can hear the cat in the background uh, you can see you use the chain that goes to the stopper to pour the drink out pour the water out and well what more can you possibly ask for I just used a little uh, pot there because it was getting windier and windier so that obviously stopped any ashes blowing out and well that's a cup of soup by any standards that I use. Fair play, how fantastic is that? Absolutely lovely stuff. Um, yeah so the Kelly kettle I'm really impressed with, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the whole process then took about I don't know nine minutes-ish, 
I could have put a lot more uh, wood in there and it would have obviously been a lot hotter and well, there would have just been a lot more fuel to make it a faster process. But as you can see, it's incredibly windy considering that it was nice and calm when we started filming. So I thought I'll leave it so there isn't a load of ash in there to blow out all over the boat. And still, that was a speedy, extremely efficient and, well, as you can see, simple, straightforward process. And we've used nothing but a bit of wood that I've collected previously from off the, uh, well, off the ground. <laughs> so, yeah, Kelly Kettle, absolutely love it. Fantastic stuff. I'll say thank you very much for watching this video. Check out my others for a load more outdoors stuff. Life on a boat, kayaking, biking, walking up hills, all sorts of stuff. Until the next time... Subscribe, like the Facebook page, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Until the next time, have a fantastic day and I hope to see you around soon. Farewell.